Hi, I'm Dr. Riley. Let's take a look at Mr. Muscle. Beginning at the top, we have the occipitalis. As we move down, please note this side has more superficial muscles than this side. For example, this here is the trapezius. This side, the trapezius was taken away. So on this side, we can now see the splenius capitis, the levator scapula, which levates the scapula, the rhomboids, the minor and the major. On this side, we can see the latissimus dorsi, or the lats, as they're more commonly known. Here we have the spine of the scapula. So above it is supraspinatus, below it is infraspinatus. Up here is the deltoid. Moving around, we take a look at his face and we see round muscles. This round muscle is the obicularis oculi. This round muscle is the obicularis oris. This strong looking muscle attached to the jaw that moves the jaw like mastication is the masseter. On the zygomatic bone, you will have the zygomaticus. On this side, there's a muscle that makes to me, I remember the bucinator, like it's like a bugle, <laughs> makes a, the same sort of mouth bugle bucinator. Moving on down, we have the sternum and the clavicle making the sternoclidomastoid. It inserts into the mastoid of the cranium. Sternoclidomastoid. Once again, he is more superficial on one side than the other. So we can see the pectoralis major on this side and the pectoralis minor on this side. This muscle that goes straight up and down is the rectus abdominis. This muscle on the more superficial layer in this direction is the external oblique whereby if you come along this side you look for the soup the top layer this is the internal oblique remember more muscle has been taken off of this side so you have the external oblique on one side and the internal oblique on the other side and then coming right here muscles that look a little bit like a serrated knife that is the serratus anterior. And the only other ones that I can remember to do right now for your exam is the temporalis. Again, we have done the frontalis, temporalis again, and the occipitalis. Remember, an aponeurosis is really a long sheet. It's almost like a tendon, only it's a long sheet of tendon.